Chapter 1 is really a nice introduction to the whole uh, rest of the class. When you um, are reading through Chapter 1, uh, this gives you the outline and provides some concepts and definition, talks about the global web-based platform, but really uh, that section there on uh, the global platform really gives you a lot of world history. It's real interesting. It really brings you to this point in history, pointing out the facts that you probably heard in some of your history classes but may not have cared about or paid attention to. Uh, so it really sets the stage for where we are in world history as far as technology, changes that have happened uh, to make the world uh, more tightly integrated, to open doors uh, for different types of innovation, different types of business practices. And it brings us to the point of of today where we're facing different business pressures and the, and the important part of this class is how the organization is going to respond to those classes, uh, to those pressures. And then of course we come all the way around to you and why information systems are important to you and then describe the rest of the, uh, the book for the, um, uh, for the semester. Uh, so it gives you some learning objectives, opening case. I'm just going to click through some of this real fast here. Uh, you don't you'll be able to see all of this. I'm really wanting to get down towards the bottom, maybe mention a couple of things here. It provides some, again, the world history, um, the, the text, and if you have the online version of the text, I believe they may even have some, uh, some videos that go along with some of this, just showing you the different stages of globalization, some of the things that's happened. Um, this is uh, Tom Friedman's 10 Flatteners. There's a book that he wrote uh, about how the world is flat. Uh, it's an interesting, interesting read. It's a long read, though. Uh, you know, buy it if you can't sleep at night or something. Uh, then he goes through the the ten flatteners. Talks about things that's changed in technology. Uh, some of the the movements that are going on. Some of this stuff is um, things that at the time when they wrote this text was very cutting edge, and now it's it's people more and more people are familiar with it. Uh, offshoring, supply chaining, Walmart, of course, being the king of supply chains, and, uh, and well, not just Walmart, but they're they're one of the best. Um, insourcing, uh, Dell using FedEx and and UPS as well. They also use UPS, uh, Google, and all that they do. Uh, that goes through steroids. There's just a lot that this uh, chapter covers as far as world history. But this is the, really the point that I want to bring you down to, is this slide, and you'll see this image in your textbook. Because what all this whole class is about is not about all the history. That's good and that sets the stage. But the point of it is to bring you up to today and have you to understand where we are in world history, how we fit today, what's been done in the past, what's happening today, what the pressures are, and how you're going to respond. Because one of the best ways to respond is through technology many times. It's not always the best, but most of the time it, it helps. And a lot of times today it's used. I mean, you think about companies trying to pull the plug on their computer systems just about can't do it it's sort of like uh, electricity now you just you just have to have it you can't operate without it what well, you can operate without it but you're not going to be very competitive uh, so that's really what this course is about there's the technology we're going to talk about that uh, the actual nuts and bolts of the technology some then we're going to talk about the business pressures we're going to talk about the business response so uh, be familiar with this slide, this picture, just kind of look over and get comfortable with it because this is really a, a good outline for the course. Of course, the rest of the chapter goes on and talks about some innovation and obsolescence. Uh, you'll be familiar with that. Also, you'll be familiar with the information overload. The folks in this picture, they've just got too many, too many options, and that we all deal with that in one form or another. Then there's different societal pressures that, uh, that this is all built off of that one slide and the way organizations are going to respond. So then we finally come down to why uh, information systems are important to you. Um, right now it may not be important to you for any reason other than that you're taking this class. But uh, for those of you that are working, those of you that will work, uh, it's going to be important to you. I can't tell you how many times I've had students come back and say, hey, I appreciated the class. Uh, the materials come in handy. I needed to learn it. I've used some of the skills that I learned, uh, things they didn't think they would need. And, and it never hurts to develop technology skills. So hope you enjoy the, the rest of the course. Uh, this chapter is a good outline. Uh, so really kind of jump into this chapter. It'll help you hopefully uh, get excited about the rest of the class.